The best way to choose which components to model in a two-dimensional grid is to look at the physics of the problem. That is, we need to make sure that we include the electromagnetic field components in our model that are needed to solve for the required physics of the problem. For example, since we want to model a vertical transmitter, say this is the z direction, we need to be able to model a current density, j, oriented vertically to the ground, which means since our one-dimensional model earlier had an EZ component, which could be used to model a JZ current source, if we now define the Z direction to be oriented vertically upwards, we can use that component to model the VLF transmitter. So this would be JZ, and it would be on an EZ, co-located with an EZ component. Okay, so EZ is one of the components that we need in our two-dimensional grid. What about the others? Another way to choose which components we need is by the boundary conditions. For example, if we consider a ship at sea, the lower boundary of our model is likely to be the ocean, or we could just make it the ocean. The conductivity of the ocean is about 3.3, so even at 1 megahertz, the ocean is a good conductor. If we approximate for the moment the ocean as a PEC, we'll say here about a PEC, from the boundary conditions for a PEC, the electric field oriented parallel to the surface of the ocean must be zero at the surface, since we know E in the ocean is going to be zero. So it's zero right up until the surface of the ocean. And so if we assume the x direction is oriented along the surface of the Earth, then we could approximate the ocean by setting an EX, a string of EX components, along the bottom of the grid to zero. We could also choose to model EYs along the surface of the ocean, but since our one-dimensional FTTD grid already extends in the x direction, let's choose EX components. So we need at least EZ and EX field components in our two-dimensional grid. Looking at the Yi grid cell here, can you find a two-dimensional plane that includes both EZ and EX field components? Feel free to pause the video. A vertical slice through the middle of the Yi cell has both EZ and EX. So here's EZ and here is EX. So vertical slice if we consider a slice through the center, would have both of these components. And then we can see that the third component that we would need is an HY component. So then we would need EZ, EX, and the third would be HY. So let's first see if we can build a basic free space two-dimensional FTTD code with EZ, EX, and HY components. Then we'll try to adapt this model to the design challenge. So now, see if you can create a diagram of the two-dimensional grid that includes the positions of EX, EZ, and HY field components and their orientation. Your sketch should be analogous to the sketch shown here of the EZ and HY components that we made in our one-dimensional FDTD model. Keep in mind that in order to solve the partial derivatives and amperes and Faraday's laws, we will need alternating electric and magnetic field components in both the X and the z directions.